What's up, everybody? It's your host, Kia Flo. And you are tuned into episode five of WKFLO Rhythm Release. What a flow. Just don't stop. You know it don't stop. And I thank you all so much for coming back and thank you all for listening and liking and subscribing and sharing. It means so much to me. It's going to help me grow. I'm seeing the numbers. They're getting up slowly but surely, but every, every subscription seriously counts because when I get there, I'm going to, I'm going to remember who was there. Uh, be sure to leave, um, come in the comment section and leave some information of any of the artists or if you have any artists that you would like for me to cover or highlight. One of my friends already asked me to do George Clinton and I think I actually want to do that. I'll admit that the funk music is not really uh, in my repertoire but there are a few songs on there that i do have so y'all be on the lookout for a highlight of george clinton plus many more and these are just artists that cross my attention but i definitely encourage and welcome any suggestions or anyone that you want to hear so keep that in mind either way i thank you for rocking with me listen tonight is a great show thank you all for waiting i know it's been a few days but I promise you I was coming back and I'm going to keep coming back. But this episode I'm actually excited about because I feel like I haven't had a theme in a while. And this is an individual that I've never heard of before. I actually even titled the episode after her just so we could get it out there. But we are highlighting Miss Linda Creed. And I was, you know, if you watched episode four or listened to episode four, you know, the highlight artist was Phyllis Hyman. And so ever since that episode and of course before, but definitely ever since that episode, I have been watching various interviews and whatever video clips I stumble upon on YouTube about Phyllis Hyman. And on one of them, and I'll be sure to drop the link down below. Um... It was about an hour long, but uh, she does a song titled Old Friend, and I I would have played that one, but, you know, we're going to give her a rest because I told y'all, she she's going to hit. I probably going to play every second song of Phyllis Hyman, but we're going to give her a rest this season but uh stay tuned but she has a song called old friend that i love and i believe it is on her living all alone album but this particular song she was performing live and she was giving her introduction to it you know her monologue and she you know was dedicating it to two friends who had passed away and one of them was linda creed and she was saying that she wrote the song and so that prompted me to look up linda creed because i like the song old friend and her catalog of songs that she has written oh my goodness it's almost like she was like hey you know, show me some love. That's how I feel about it. Because a lot of the songs that she's written, I know, love, and have. And of course, you know, I'm going to be popping out the vinyl. So stay tuned. But we are highlighting, again, Linda Creed on this episode. And listen, <laughs> the whole, the whole, the whole everything just fell over there so at this part of the video until the next segment you're only going to see me from this angle because that whole side just fell it's okay though <laughs> i would be so happy to see that on the playback but 
on this particular episode, we're playing nothing but songs that were written by Linda Creed. And I had fun coming up with this playlist because I'll admit that the artists that she wrote for were pretty much the same. Uh, One main artist in particular is the stylistics. And I was not going to just make this a whole stylistics um, episode. But I had fun because these songs are classics. Many people have covered them. So I have five covers of songs written by Linda Creed all the way to the 2010s. (laughs) I did my research on this, y'all. That is why I am truly, because it took me some time to put this playlist together, but I was able to get it on and popping we are only the only decade that we will be in twice is the 70s and that is because she did not her first recorded song that uh we have knowledge of i believe came out in 1971 so i was not able to find a song of hers in the 60s if i was that would have been perfect or if i was able to find a song in the 2020s that someone had covered and there may be i just was not able to find it especially on spotify so we're gonna stay in the 70s and with that we're gonna go ahead and get it started because i've talked long enough with the stylistics this is going to be the only time you hear them even though we're going to hear a few of their songs in this episode but we're going to start with the stylistics with their 1972 song break up to make up one of my favorites i know one of my mother's favorites and so y'all tune in and listen up and come back this is wkflo rhythm release where the flow just don't stop Hopefully you enjoy those two. Uh, the first one was Break Up to Make Up by The Stylistics, which came out in 1972. That started us off. And then uh, the song you just heard was You're As Right As Ring by Nancy Wilson, which came out in 1974. Um, remember, I don't know if I said that or not, but all of the songs on this episode were written by the individual who we are highlighting. Miss Linda Creed. Uh, this next song that we're about to get into by my boy Babyface is You Make Me Feel Brand New. Now, what I can say, we started off with the stylistics and the next, the next songs with the exception of the last song, I was introduced by the stylistics. So it kind of is almost, I don't know, it does what it needs to do. The songs fall in the place the way they need to on this episode. And it starts off with the stylistics who introduce pretty much all of these songs to me. And then the ending also has a story that I'll get to at that point. But this next song, like I said, is by Babyface in 1986. It is titled, You Make Me Feel Brand New. Y'all tune in and listen up and come back. This is WKFLO Rhythm Release, where the flow just don't stop. Thank you for coming back. Hopefully you enjoyed that rendition of Mr. Babyface's You Make Me Feel Brand New. Like I said, that came out in 1986. 
I've always loved that song by the stylistics, but that version actually it it hit a little bit, you know, it hit a lot actually. I ain't gonna even try to play my boy like that, you know. But at this point, I want to get more into uh the lovely, talented, and just genius of a writer, Linda Creed. Y'all uh, rock with me. Born in the Mount Airy section of Philadelphia in December of 1948, Creed was active in music at Germantown High School. After graduation, Creed decided against college and devoted her energies to writing and producing music. Her career launched in 1970 when singer Dusty Springfield recorded her song Free Girl. That same year, Creed teamed with Bell, a staff writer, producer, and arranger at Gamble and Huff's Philadelphia International Record Label. Uh, their first songwriting collaborations included songs such as Stop, Look, Listen to Your Heart, which was a top 40 for the stylistics, and that began an extended collaboration that yielded the group's most successful recordings, which included Betcha by Golly Wow, Break Up to Make Up, You Are Everything, You Make Me Feel Brand New, People Make the World Go Round, and I'm Stone in Love with You. The latter, which were her collaborations with Mr. Tom Bell. Uh, Creed and Bell also paired on a number of hits for the spinners, including Ghetto Child, I'm Coming Home, Living a Little, Laughing a Little, and The Rubber Band Man. Linda Creed also worked with fellow Pennsylvania native Phyllis Hyman on many of her songs, most notably Old Friend, and that is actually what even spawned my interest in Linda Creed. I literally did not find out about her to a few days ago. Anyone who has been following me knows that I did an episode for Phyllis Hyman, a highlight on her because she is one of my favorite artists and singers of all time. And of course, after doing that episode, I still continue to dive into her, which I plan to do for uh, Miss Linda Bell. And I saw a recording of her doing a live concert where she performed the song Old Friend, which I love, and that is on her Living All Alone album, I believe. But it's a beautiful song, and on this particular performance, she dedicated it to Linda Creed and another friend of hers who had passed away. And so that prompted me to look up Linda Creed and discovered that she had written many of the songs that I grew up loving, and I could not wait to highlight her on Rhythm Release. And, um to go a little more into Linda Creed. Um, she was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 26, but she kept working and teaming with composers such as Michael Masser and writing the lyrics to the song, The Greatest Love of All. And that was the main theme for the film, The Greatest, which was a biopic of the great boxer Muhammad Ali, and that came out in 1977. The song was originally recorded by George Benson and released as a single in 1977, becoming a big hit which peaked at number two on the R&B charts. The lyrics of the song were written in the midst of her struggle with breast cancer. The words described her feelings about coping with great challenges that one must face in life, being strong during those challenges, whether you succeed or fail, and passing that strength on to children to carry with them in their adult lives. In 1984, the song was recorded by Whitney Houston for her 1985 self-titled debut album, and it would top the charts in May of 1986, weeks before 
reaching number one, Cree died of breast cancer on April 10th of 1986 at the age of 37. She is survived by her husband, uh, Stephen Epi Epstein, and long music pro- a long music pro- promoter around Philadelphia and their two daughters, Ronnie Lee and Dana Creed. The following year, her family and friends established the Linda Creed Breast Cancer Foundation and in 1992, she was posthumously inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Rest in peace, Linda Creed. Thank you for the work that you did. Continue to watch over us your music, I can tell you right now, stands the test of time. Thank you so much for what you contributed. And my mama, I know she know what time it is. I got this because this is one of the albums she had. And listen, you, you were amazing. Continue to watch over us. But that was the highlight of Linda Creed. We're going to keep this show moving right along with more of the songs that she wrote. And this one right here, huh, huh, this is her, rend- this was, excuse me, this is a rendition of a song she wrote, which is People Make the World Go Round. Again, originally sung by the stylistics, but this is by Mark Dorsey, and this came out in 1994. Y'all tune in and listen up and come back. This is WKFLO Rhythm Release, where the flow just don't stop. Thank you for coming back. Did you enjoy those? <laughs> I know I did. <laughs> I picked them out. Yes. Um, starting us off, people make the world go round. Mark Dorsey. Now that actually came from the Crooklyn soundtrack. Mm-hmm. 1994. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then that song you just heard, which is one of my all-time favorites, is Stop, Look, listen to your heart and of course like I said all of the first five songs you heard were originally sung by the stylistics the only one that I will question is you're as right as rain which we played by the lovely Nancy Wilson I would double check and I probably have already put in the video if that was originally put by uh, originally sung by her or not but um, yeah, the rest were the stylistics, and they were my introduction into vinyl, them and Karen White. <laughs> um, and listen, this has been a beautiful show. We got to go ahead and get into on this day in music history. <laughs> what you thought? Y'all want to go get this history lesson? Oh, yes, y'all is. On this day, August 18th, the number one R&B song in 1962 was You'll Lose a Good Thing by Barbara Lynn. And then, born on August 18th is Sony Tillman, Erlington Tillman, excuse me, of the or- Orioles. And he was born in 1928. Then there was Sarah Dash of the LaBelle and Nona Hendrix of LaBelle. They both were born in 45. And then we have Barbara Harris of the Toys, who was born in 1945. Happy birthday. I also want to go ahead and give a shout out. Happy birthday to my homegirl, Michelle, my childhood friend. Her birthday is tomorrow, the 19th. And for some reason, I always remember on the 18th and never the 19th. But, girl, I got you on video, and this video coming out tomorrow. So, mm, 
Nope, happy birthday, girl. Anyway, some other great things that happened in 1945. The legendary Delta Rhyme Rhythm Boys, excuse me, teamed up with the first lady of jazz, Ella Fitzgerald, on It's Only a Paper Moon, which entered the R&B hit parade and eventually reached number four and number nine pop. The song was originally titled, If You Believe in Me, which was a line in the chorus. Also in 1968, the Drifters and Bill Haley and the Comets performed at San Francisco's Avalon Ballroom. Then the Pointer Sisters charted with Yes, You Can Can, reaching number 12 R&B and number 11 pop with their debut top top 100 disc. The four sisters began as studio singers for the likes of San Francisco stars Dave Mason, Elvin Bishop, and Bob Skaggs. And that is on this day in Black music history. Hopefully you enjoyed. Listen, this has been a beautiful show. Thank you all for tuning in and always thank you for my subscribers. Thank you to Spotify. Thank you to Anchor. And also thank you to YouTube now because now people can see me so you can see. <laughs> anyway, listen, if you have any questions or concerns, dedications, comments, or just want to send you girls some well wishes, email me at info at flotainment.com. Also, you can follow me on all of my social medias, Kia Flow, <laughs> and you can follow me on Instagram on either one of my Instagram pages. Listen, y'all always been a great audience. Thank you so much. Put some comments down there if you're on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe and share it to your old school music and history lovers. This is for you all. This is for us. We're going to keep this music alive. Thank you, Linda Cree. Thank you, Tom Bell, Philadelphia International, Phyllis Hyman, and all of the other artists that's about to be highlighted on this show and that's still watching over us this is wkflo rhythm release where the flow just don't stop y'all tune in and come back be blessed i love you peace